When I was a young mage, my mentor took me into his study to cast profane command. What's up, Planeswalker? Snake 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. I do, of course, hope you head over to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal and it helps support the show. Now, today, as you could probably tell by the title and the thumbnail and that whack intro I just did, uh, we're playing some Mono Black. And you can blame all of this on Shim, because on my last video for uh, Spirits, he said, you should make a black deck called Welcome to the Black Parade. And then Grumpy said, Massacre Girl is lead singer. So here we are. I, I, I took a comment. I thought it was hilarious. I fucking went with it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to do song references for the entire week or something. I don't know. Right? Who knows? But this is, uh, this is the Black Parade. It's just a mono black control deck that I tried really hard to make. And there are so many different axes to work with that I was like, is this good? I don't know. I'm running significantly more one, two, and three hubs than I usually would prefer, but at the end of the day, I don't care. I'm playing Massacre Girl, and I made a meme. That's that's all that matters to me. Is <laughs> a is a fucking joke. <laughs> oh man, I do like some uh, MCR though. Gotta gotta hit that emo phase. I mean, I, I, I'm wearing black. I didn't do this on purpose. I just happened to be wearing black today. Uh, black nails, obviously. Uh, black hair, you know, brown skin. I'm not going to say black skin. It's saying black. This is black. Whatever. <laughs> We're running three duress because uh, we need we need discard in the main deck. Uh, we need to be able to deal with, specifically enchantments, uh, artifacts are things that we can deal with via Karn. Um, but we do need some way to deal with the enchantments, so duress is a really nice way to do that. And it happens to hit instant sorcerers and planeswalkers, which is also nice two burglar rats as well as you know three davriel uh we have a, a minor discard package going on here um i mean elder born also helps with that but es essentially like we wanted a low drop i didn't like moment of craving nor did i like cast down in as a removal here and the main reasons for that is that moment of craving will against many decks just be trash and then <laughs> uh word word is hard what is the other spell that i just had cast down jeez <laughs> um cast down is just in, in the matches where I need it the most, it fails me. So I was like, I'm just not going to deal with two mana removal. <laughs> and I'm just going to play Burglar Rats instead. For what it's worth, it's a blocker against aggressive strategies. And it does force them to lose a card. But it's also just nice as an annoyance against those control decks. Two Dreadhorn Invasion. Uh, essentially one of my main win conditions. Being able to just slowly build up that army. And then swing in and gain some life. Pretty good. Four Treasure Maps. I did initially have four Founder Renewals and four Treasure Maps cut the fountains because I didn't feel that they were technically useful in this deck when I wanted to have other things. So I just went with the treasure maps. The treasure maps were very helpful for making sure my top decks are good and giving me some card draw. Black does have access to a lot of uh, card draw as a color, but in standard right now, it's kind of not great. I mean, you can run, what, the, the, the two mana this thing? You could do that, I guess, but against aggro, you're, you should never do that. And, I mean, it's helpful against control, but, you know, you're paying two mana to do that just rather do something else Two finale of eternity i like this card even though we're never going to get value for x even though we technically can because of the fact that we're going to have cabal stronghold in the deck that said being able to just destroy any creature we want um after we have like a cabal stronghold and a few swamps out is really nice three devils it discards it also is a really nice lightning magnet against that girl <laughs> two crowd the canariums and one ritual so this is like my board wipes of choice right now and the main reason for this is essentially I didn't want to run too many board wipes because of the fact that I assume I'm going to be running into a lot of uh, non-creature decks, even though I'm going to be playing in unranked because people people hate me. <laughs> Two, Mastermind's Acquisition finds anything I want in the deck, and it does work with my sideboard. I do have a few black, I guess that'd be black bullets, because silver bullets are the artifacts. So I have a, I have an, uh, a wish board, thanks to Karn the Great Creator, but... I also have a few non-artifact things that I can get with Massimine's Acquisition when I need them. It is very important to remember where your shit is. <laughs> because in one of my games, uh, the first, no, second one, I was like, I put a single Veracious Contempt in the sideboard, right? I ha I didn't, and I lost that game because of that. <laughs> um, three Veracious Contempt, it's removal that gains its life. Very, very important. Two Karns, helpful at card draw, makes win, like, makes win cons. It's, it's, it's a decent card. And uh, three Karn the Great Creator, a better card in my opinion, because it allows us to go into our wishboard, which I'll get to in just a second. It also means that our opponent's artifacts can't be activated, which is nice. Um, and then you can turn something into an artifact, which is, you know, cool, I guess. Three Massacre Girl. It's ostensibly the reason I'm playing this deck. Is ostensibly the right word there? Probably. 
she, she's cool. She's a board wipe. She is a win con because she has menace, which is annoying. You know, four four four. It's okay, still dies to lava coil. Would it be too strong as a four five? Probably. It'd be cool as a three five though. That'd be interesting. Anyway, uh, two Elder Borns, fucking value incarnate. If I'm playing them on a black deck, I'm playing Elder Born, straight up. Uh, it allows me, if I don't have one of my Planeswalker win conditions, it allows me to take something from my opponent. Pretty helpful. Sack, discard, cool, cool. Two Liliana Dreadhorde Generals and one Eugene. Eugene is another way to deal with these enchantments, but they're essentially just my win cons. I mean, Liliana can help at dealing with the board a little, and U Eugene can help with dealing with pretty much anything, but for the most part, they're my win cons. Uh, we're running three Cabal Strongholds and 17 Swamps. I don't know if that's too few, but that's the number I'm sticking with, so shut it. Uh, we have one Blast Zone, one Detection Tower, and one Field of Ruin. I did consider putting a Crucible of Worlds on the sideboard, but I couldn't find a spot for it. Obviously, it's possible I just had the wrong wish board, and I should have Crucible of Worlds, but... I only have one of each of these, so they're not going to come up very often, and the times I'm going to want two of them in a row, or two of them close together, probably going to be few and far between. That said, you know, maybe there's something that's just better. Um, I'm running only 23 lands. My cur my average is 3.4, um, but as you can see, like, it, it is mostly in the twos and fours here, um, so as long as I can get to four mana, I should be fine. Um, and since I do have treasure map as well as... What the hell am I looking for? Treasure map and Karn. It was this Karn. Yeah, treasure map and this Karn kind of help out because your opponents are usually going to give you land off of this. So I'll talk about my wish board real quick. We have one Founder of Renewal. You know, you can get this and you'll gain a decent amount of life against the aggro decks. And because we're running so many Planeswalkers main deck, it actually means that we're able to um, kind of stem a lot of the tide against the aggressive decks who don't realize just go face. Um... So we'll have enough time, and I'll, I'll talk about it, because actually that's what I faced uh, in, in my last game, practice game. Um, one Silent Gravestone, screw them artifact shenan- or screw those Graveyard shenanigans. One Elder Spell. There are too many damn Planeswalkers running around. You get this when that shit happens. <laughs> Diamond Mare. Another card that's just fantastic against the aggro decks. You play it, you cast Black Spells, and you gain a lot of life, and you have a decent blocker. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Deal with, deal with Planeswalkers uh, when you know that they have a lot of them essentially. Thematic Compass. Helpful against kind of the mid-range beat stick decks, where you're going to get your seven lands relatively quickly. This allows you uh, to, you know, stop a big Chungus from killing you. Ops Cruelty. Kills a medium-sized Chungus. Arcane Encyclopedia, just in case we want more card draw. Like, if we're going against a, uh, a, what's the word I'm looking for? Against a control deck, and we're pretty sure that they don't have um, anything to kill us quickly, Arcane Encyclopedia is okay. This is probably the, the main place that I would possibly take out uh, for Crucible of World. Uh, one Chaos Wand. It's funny. Chromatic Lantern. I don't remember why I put this in. <laughs> you know, we're just gonna make a, just gonna make a small, ch what am I doing? We're just making a, make a small change here. Just gonna go ahead and, uh, just gonna put Crucible of World in there. Sure, there we go. Boom, boom. <laughs> we had no reason to have a Chromatic Lantern. I think, uh, I think that was from when I was still making this, like, Chrome Black. Um, Transmogrifying Wand. When a big thing turns into a smaller thing. Easier to deal with. Demon Lord Belzenlock, uh, very similar to um, Arcane Encyclopedia. This is just a nice thing to draw, um, or to get if we're facing control. And we just really need, uh, one, a big dude, and two, something that draws us more cards. God Pharaoh Statue, Statue, win con against control. Immortal Sun, stymie against control. We do have a large number of Planeswalkers in the deck, but sometimes your opponents, Cough Cough, Jeskai Planeswalkers, have more than you. So you get this and say, go away. And Meteor Golem, it blows something up. That, I mean, that's pretty much it. We played three games of practice, and we won two of them. So our first game... Well, we we played two games of practice, and we won one of them. Um, our first game was against Is It Turbo Concede? They conceded uh, on turn three for some reason. I played... Uh, what, did I, what did I even play? I didn't do anything on turn one. Oh, I think I played Dreadhorde Invasion on turn two. That makes sense. I think, I think they conceded after Dreadhorde Invasion on turn two. I went first, so... No, they, they had to have gone first. One, two, one. Yeah, no, they went first. I, I don't know why they conceded for what it's worth, but they did. Our uh, second game was against a Gruul Boar, and um, I still had cast downs in my deck at this point. And I was like, uh, no thanks, Gruul Boar, uh, screw you. Oh yeah, don't mind if I do. Turn two, turn three. Sure. Um... Yeah, so like, they, they were able to get down a Rhythm of the Wild, 
and I couldn't do anything about that. And the last game was against Mono Red, and I had Davriel on turn three. Uh, Davriel. So it was a treasure map on turn two. Davriel on turn three. Uh, they they focus down my Davriel. This is probably just going to be a control deck, so yeah, getting this down quickly is going to be really helpful. Um, they focus down my Davriel. On turn four, I played another Davriel that I top decked, I think. And I wonder if this is Thought Rager. Hero. I'm, I'm holding out for a hero to the morning light. Oh, Massacre Girl seems like it'd be pretty good. Um, do I just force the discard or do we play another invasion? I legitimately don't know. Could also blow up one of their lands. Does that do anything? The thing is, if I blow up this, they're gonna get a black land. If I blow up this, they're gonna get a white land. But maybe, maybe they don't have any black basics? <sighs> I mean, theoretically, Ritual of Soot can deal with, like, a uh, some, some annoying nonsense. I think I just put down the invasion. It's possible I should be diversifying my bonds, but... Eh. Oh, right. <laughs> um, and once again, they focus down the, the second Davriel. Um, at that point i was able to play a karn go get a um my fountain of renewal just just they, dude you, you don't have to bother with this event, friend no i'll uh, go and cast a burglar rat i assume i'm gonna attack and then they're gonna bounce or they're gonna kill my zombie army with tyrant scored i think is what it is oh well they had another white source anyway Oh, they're, they're not going to let me attack. They're just going to kill it, I guess. No, they don't let me attack. And the reason I attack there is I'm, I'm relatively certain that they have a Tyrant tire Scorn. Yep. I I need another land. As I said, uh, I just need to get to four mana. And I should be fine. I kept a three lander. It's going to be a Teferi. No, it's an Oath of Kaya. I assume it kills the Burglar Rat so they can get through for maximum damage. Yeah, makes sense. I, I do think this is correct uh, because this creature gets to get in. But. Ow, ow. Thank you very much. Do I Ritual here? Or do I Burglar Rat? I think I Burglar Rat. Yeah. The hand is relatively low. Okay. Do they have a Teferi? Shoot. Teferi, please say no. Well, that's not the Teferi I was talking about, but still annoying to- I'm gonna die to my own Dreadhorde Vision. Dude, bounce my Dreadhorde Vision. Don't bounce your Oath of Kaya. Oh, sure. I think that was incorrect. I think I should have bounced the Earth of Kaya. Um, I'm just going to block the most damage. Move it ten. I'll play Ritual, or I'll play I'll play Massacre Girl. Obviously, if I draw another land. Well, you're not Massacre Girl. I'm at eight. I need to get this up there. <laughs> I'm gonna die to my own Dreadhorde Vision. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Might be a bad idea. No, playing Dreadhorde Invasion apparently was a bad idea. My opponent just needs to wait. Fucking like two more turns. Do I even play a Massacre Girl here? I guess so. I mean, it probably gets countered. I need to start dealing some damage. I cannot attack Teferi, and my opponent probably knows that. Uh, one more land, and I can play no, Eugene. I am not making this up as I Although my opponent is probably going to upkeep, uh, upkeep Erase Me. Because Teferi's fun and interactive. Oh, you're just going to bounce Massacre Girl? Or are you going to bounce my 2-2? Oh, nope, they bounced that, and they put me to 3. Fuck. 
How do I have a way to deal with my own Dreadhorde invasions? I feel like it would have been better to just put me to three. Could be wrong, I suppose. Davriel, do you help at all? Probably not. Better than nothing, though. If you surrender now, I'll still have empty your mind. Hmm. Who would have thought playing double Dreadhorde invasion would kill you? <laughs> oh, man. Did not expect this to happen. Not gonna lie. Oh, good. Thanks. No, I died. Should I just not run the Dreadhorde invasion? There we go. Balance as all things should be. Train Conductor asks a weird question. What is your favorite cheesy, funny pickup line? Mine is... I'm not going to read that. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to read that. Uh, ah, it's a two-lander. Oh, fuck off. I have 24 lands now, though. Don't care, don't care. I guess it's a Healy. Go to Cutie is going to be annoying, but... Hey, it's a burglar rat. I just need one more land, and everything will be a okay. I, I don't think I have any like pickup lines. Uh, I mean, in the Midwest, up in the north, um, there was there was one that I knew about where I was like, <laughs> "Why? Why do you hate me, game?" Draw one more land. That's all I needed. Um, except it was like, uh, <laughs> hey, do you want to see how big this fish I caught was? It's, um, and like you put your hand around and it's like, about this big. Oh, calm the fudge on. I mean, I did keep a two-lander. So I guess I can't complain that much. I guess that would be my, like, cheesy pickup line thing. I don't know. I guess technically I should have done that first, but... Yep, I definitely should have done it first. Being punished for it. Well, now I know I want to draw that, so... This is a dead card, this is a dead card, these are probably dead cards. I'm surprised it's not a Teferi, gonna go ahead and just attack. Cast Davriel, probably gets countered. I'm surprised it didn't get countered. I assume it's gonna die then? Let's tidy up in there. My opponent must just have a lot of removal. I don't really plan on killing him with uh, combat damage necessarily. Revitalize? Okay. I, I have no idea what the, the Esper Acuity... Oh, we went against Esper again. I'm not sure what the Esper Acuity decks run, to be honest. I didn't know they, they run Acuity. I really don't know what this deck plays. Let me pick your brain for a minute. Evil must not be My I think I think because I don't know what they're they're playing that I should get God Pharaoh statue. I could also get Chaos Wand, but I don't think that's particularly good. I think I do just want God Pharaoh statue. Like dear, I could Meteor Golem a cutie, but I don't think that's correct. The tech. And let's go and do this. And I'm probably just going to use Davriel uh, for the last uh, discard because my opponent's pretty much never going to be low on cards, I don't think. I do need get, to get up to six mana, but 
couple of turns with this, I should be have I, I would have the treasure. The treasure. That's interesting. They did that just for settler wreckage. Decline. What? Are, I didn't put anything down there. Yeah, just decline. No, they're just looking for stuff with acuity. I do want to do this. Ah, she's good, but I just need more lands. Anything? That might have been why I had the uh, the chromatic lantern just as mana. Um, let's go and do this. I don't think you'll be needing that. I don't think you'll be needing that. Thom Compass is decent because it does give me more mana. It, like, eventually. Spyglass is possibly correct. I'm gonna go ahead and play Spyglass here, actually. Oh, uh, there's nothing else I would have played, regardless. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, that costs nine. Okay. I need to draw another one of my duresses. I'm gonna go ahead and name Bolus the Citadel. So, I assume they're gonna play the Citadel now. Yep. So they can't kill me with it. Oh my gosh, that's helpful. Uh, so now I can God for a statue, and it's gonna be harder to cast everything. Spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast. You may... No. You may play the top card of your library. If you cast a spell this way, pay life rather than paying its mana cost. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't exactly know how this interaction works, but I'm very curious to find out. Oh, I can turn this into a into a six six, if I get removal. So that's important to note. Uh, do I want to swing whole hog with my sorcerer spyglass? Sure. Potentially an error, like if my opponent has removal, but they're playing. They they only have white open. It. I know most of their cards. Oh shit! It's till the rest. Uh, oops. I thought it was until the end of my turn. That may have been a mistake. They do still have to pay mana for it. Okay. That's good to know. I love a good challenge. This should be fun. Yep. So they're limited. Oh, I fucking love you, God Paris statue. They're limited in what they can cast this turn. Nice, nice. Okay, Esper Citadel, you have two more casts. Oh, that's from your hand. Have fun. If I can kill, if I can kill his two one ones, I don't know what he's doing. Then I can turn his citadel into a creature, and kill it with Liliana minus. Why are you doing that though? Do I have your attention now? N no, not really. I'm very confused. I mean, you wouldn't have gotten anything if you turned it the other way, though. One, this has summoning sickness. So you just sacrifice one of them. Sure, hit my Karn, I guess. You are only hurting yourself. So I only need him to block one of them. Or, I only need him to block with one of them. Ah. <sighs> It's so nice when a plan comes together. Let me just make sure I have six. I do have six. Let's do one of these. Have fun being a creature. Let's do one of these. And let's do one of these. Bye bye! Get out of my way! So now that costs eleven. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. 
So they can still cast that next turn. Sure. Just do things. Uh, ban Banana Split S. Will you be buying one of the new Ryzen 3000 chips for my computer? I, I have no idea what that is. I assume it's a, a, some new RAM. No. <laughs> my computer's fine right now. I will upgrade it when I need to, not when uh, not when new stuff comes out. Remember, this is still just a hobby. <laughs> it is not a yab. It is something I do for fun. <laughs> Bum. Shout out to God for our statue doing work. Oh, let's throw down. Technically, we're 2-2 two -two right now. Um, Jester asks, would it be a good idea to buy into reserve list cards such as Gaia's Cradle? Since when have I been a magic finance channel? <laughs> Go ask uh, Rudy from Alpha Investments. I have no idea. I would say no. Or would I say yes? I don't know. I, I feel like with, um, with that new, like, her Hermit Druid type thing. I don't, it wasn't Hermit Druid. What the hell is it called? The Squirrel Man. The five mana Squirrel Man that doesn't have Echo has, like, Vanishing or something now. Um, with that printing, as well as, like, the flip things for from, um, Ixlan that, I mean, like this, right? Well, not this particularly, but the other, the other ones. Um, <laughs> I would say that maybe Wizards is, like, kind of inching closer and closer. Oh, fuck. Well, Cry the Canarium is, uh, going to be potentially helpful here. Hopefully. <laughs> they don't have a counter spell. Here, counter, counter my treasure map. Well, they have something to do at instant speed. Oh my god, please counter my treasure map. Oh, shit. Okay, well, this, in my eyes... Oh, just Trickster, of course. Okay. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I think Wizards is crawling closer to um, to doing that cool stuff. Terramander? Okay. So they can cast Wizards Retort. Oh, but I feel like I have to do it. No. Spell Pierce, Wizards Retort. They always have it. Ah, damn. Nectarnal map. I hate mono blue so much, so much. No. Yes? It is something to play this turn. Sure. It also might draw some damage from me. I don't want to show them detection tower just yet. the thought Ugh, what a whiner kill my devriel don't hit me as much cool massacre girl would be nice the only issue is i have nothing to do on five so i'd rather yeah i'd rather map And this is technically good, because I'll guarantee a 6, but I'll have 6 next turn anyway. So I think I'd rather just try and draw something. Uh, the rest is helpful. Let's play this now, just because. Let's do this. So we'll be able to Liliana minus, as long as Liliana resolves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Retort? Sure. So, next turn. Castle Lily minus. 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five. Oh fuck! I might just be dead. Kill these two. Um, plus eight. So they don't have enough mana or spells. Okay, I shouldn't be dead then. One more mana. Oh, there one more card. Oh, fuck Tempest Gen. Yeah, I actually just like need Massacre Girl. Detection Tower does not mean need any mean anything to me. You're not Massacre Girl. Ritual of Soot, Massacre Girl, any of those? Fuck. Nope, I'm just dead. Damn it! Oh, I hate that deck so much. Dex, what upcoming games 
are you excited for? Literally only Hollow Knight Silk Song. That's it. I was excited for Sword and Shield. Uh, I didn't play Sun and Moon because didn't have the time. I was excited for Sun and Shield. Uh, or Sword and Shield, and then uh, they announced that there was no national decks. So, fuck you, Game Freak and Nintendo. I'm not buying your damn game if I can't play my favorite Pokemon. Period. If I can't play Sableye, Blaziken, Gardevoir, uh, Gastrodon, Aegislash. I'm sure there are others that I'm sadly forgetting like a bad person. Oh, fuck. Am I gonna, I'm gonna stuck on two lands again. I don't care. So, literally, it's it's just, um, it's just Hollow Knight Silk Song now. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I need, I need, I need three mana. It's, it's Gabos. Uh, I mean, I can, I can wipe them up. Can, can I press done? Jesus, fuck. Um, I mean, three, five, you know, pretty damn good, but the fear is real. I'll take a treasure map here. I'll take a land. Thank you very much. Okay, so it should be okay. I'm definitely going to play this on turn three. I Is that true? Am I going to play it on turn three? Well, I'm definitely not playing it on turn three, but I will be playing it on turn four at least. <laughs> They're playing Cavalcade Goblins. Why are you playing Cavalcade Goblins? That does not make very much sense to me. Can this say Planeswalkers? Yeah. Player or Planeswalker that creature is attacking. So they would have to attack Davriel in order to deal damage to him, but I'm fine with that. Forcing a discard. Cool. I... So these are 1-1s. One so I understand that. But why... Why play Cavalcade with the other larger goblins? I just don't get that. Like, this doesn't get a Cavalcade trigger. I assume the 1's gonna go at Devriel. The 2's gonna come at me. Would've been 2 damage either way. Sure, I'm fine. Devriel soaked up a little bit of damage for me. Pretty sure the correct answer is just cry. I would really, really like, uh, you know, more mana, please. Maybe I'm just bad at building decks. No, it's not me. It's the meta that is wrong. As I said, enchantments are uh, not the easiest thing to deal with. Land would be nice. Thank you very much. We play a Karn. We plus a Karn. You would like another land, frankly. Because I assume my opponent is going to go ham from his hand. Being able to massacre girl is going to be a real nice fudge. Are right, someone going to give me this second Karn? Yeah, makes sense. Don't want me to have a blocker. It's still Karn next turn. Hopefully get a land. Eh, hopefully. Um, Vale asks, what favorite Elder Scrolls race and also favorite playstyle class? Um, I always play Ultimate. <laughs> I know in Skyrim they're racist fucks, um, but in Elder Scrolls Online, pretty much everyone's a racist fuck. Uh, I think the only people who aren't racist assholes are Khajiit, Argonians, Bosmer? I think that's it. I think everyone else is a racist asshole. Um, sure, let's do one of this. I'll make use of that Give me a land. Oh, you fool. You fool! <laughs> yes! Come slaughter the goblins! Isn't that, isn't that like a an anime right now? Goblin Slayer or something? I don't know. I, I, I haven't watched anime in a long time. Uh, favorite playstyle class? Always some sort of mage. Um, in Skyrim, like, you always end up defaulting to Archer because ar the, the sneaky shoot-shoot is, like, the best, kind of, like, the best playstyle, so. Uh, but in general, it's some sort of mage. I just like casting spiels, pretty much. Um, and then Jester, once again, D&D, uh, &D, I assume he meant 3.5, um, 4 or 5. I've literally only ever played 4, or shit, I've literally only ever played 5, so 5. Um... 3.5, from what I've heard, is more complicated than I care, and 4 is more video gamey than I care. Mythic or wild card? Bantu. Alright, hey Bantu. Ubuntu. Uh, I mean, that was just a strange, um, strange deck. Sound of Science still doesn't work, by the way. 
Maybe just screw the Dreadhorde invasion, right? Yeah, I think you just run 24 lands in this deck. But it sucks when you get too many lands, right? I don't know. I feel like there has to be some way to mitigate that in this uh, format, but... Eh. I'd like to, of course, thank my lovely patrons, especially Salamander, Croft, Zinn, and Rexable. Re Rexable? Really? Holy crap, my brain is broken. Rexel, for the continued support, especially uh, Cock Off Zaraga's uh, best boy. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to join them supporting the channel, you'll find links to that down in the description below. Or well, you just press that join button. Become one of those Phyrexians on the screen. One of the, the ones at the bottom, anyway. anyway. Uh, <laughs> in the description, you'll find links to my Aetherp account, where I host all of my all of my decks. I think I might actually try and do a music theme for a few days, because I think it's funny. That's pretty much it. Um, you'll also find links to my Discord server, where we can chat and play games. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, pretty much, pretty much that stuff. It's a bunch of fun, just a bunch of fun, having fun with my my strange people who keep calling me daddy, even though I said no D Y. You can call me Tan Dad. Don't call me Tan Daddy. It's so I hate I hate the words Daddy and Mommy. Like even for children, I'm just like cringe fest. And I I even cringe at cringe. We're getting into to obscene levels of cringe right now. You can't see it, but I'm cringing so hard. Anyway. If you did like this weird video and this weird end part, go ahead and tap that like button, add a subscription, share mana pool, cast all those comments to the comment section down below, pass the turn, and the vid to some of your friends. And of course, until next time, all will be one in the Black Parade, or something, I don't know. <laughs>